Let zoom, zoom, zoom! Greetings, everyone tonight. Welcome back to Let's Play Crash Team Racing Nitro Field on the 510. We took out Lost Boons races, and now we're going to go to the park, and we're going to kick its ass. That's right, because it said so. All right, Blizzard bluffed his first, and then I believe it's Polar Pass. Tiny Arena and Dragon Mines. There we go. Forgot the name of the boss's track in this world. Well, actually, of all the CTR tracks, the only ones I haven't raced are Polar Pass. Hi, Penta. Uh, or Polar Pass and actually, I think that's it. Also, Papu Papu was last, but not for long. You Go, Big Papu, you. show them what you got. Oh, ah. Okay, admittedly not a good first showing. There's a shortcut I could take, but I have no confidence in being able to take it without of these power-ups. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> I thought I could just get through that immediately. Well, I guess I don't need this anymore. Also, at least he wears pants. Oh, I can't block this with missile, damn it! Nope. That a block the missile. So there's a number of shortcuts, but I can't take them because I don't have the power to do it. Well, half of them I don't have the power, and the other half is I don't have the confidence. <laughs> nope, I have screwed this. I have screwed the food horrendously. Nitro crate won't help me, but this mine is gonna fuck! Should have eaten bigger breakfast. Oh, I lost about half a second because I tried hot dogging. I like how this is the first truck I have to redo now. Is it is literally just because I was screwing around and thought I was invincible? Turns out I'm not! Well. All right, I can just skip this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, I can get that shortcut now, at least. Oh, unless I do that. Nope, I said someone's flying. I'm going to make that damn shortcut. I just need to not mistime my pop and I will be fine. Oh, come on! Now Coco's miles ahead. At least, at least being saved by Aku Aku and Luka don't take away one of them now, except I can't come back with Nitrous Crate. I don't know why the game keeps coming I want them. 
<laughs> well, the only thing this has taught me is that doing the CTR challenge is gonna suck. Because I know one of the letters is off that shortcut I keep trying and failing to get across. Man, I did that so much faster not going for the shortcuts. But hey, now I have Red Papu Papu. Moana or something like that. Not Moana. Moana was the chick in that movie. Who was... Who did Dwayne Johnson play in that movie? I honestly don't remember. Probably because I haven't seen it. Oops. Much like most of Dwayne Johnson's movies. This is too much gratuitous body shaking for my liking. I'm very disturbed. <laughs> this guy has a skull can. You win a trophy. Oh, that's so cool! I got a pull sticker now. Of course, we're not going to get the hit until I pick a character, so... Let's... I remember Engine and Coco's turning being that low. I guess it was. Well, we're in your area, Polar, so let's play as you. Let's play as the boy. But let's change the color of your cart to... Yeah, let's make it Electron Red. The edgiest paint job I could come up with. Oh, we just don't get the hints anymore, okay. But that's such a cool, that's so cool. It's the statues from Crash 2 as the podium. That's awesome. I, lo I, lo I love touches like this. They and the, obviously the 155 speed limit side from Warped. Oh man. These hit me right in the nostalgia boner. Anyway. Um, where are we supposed to go? I guess that's what the map is for, but I don't remember where... I don't remember where Polar Pass is. I actually haven't done... Oh no, this is Dragon Mine. It's po No, it's this, and then Polar Pass, and then Tiny Arena. That's how... That is the list of how things go. So I remember the shortcut here sucking because you need boost a boost canister or an, or a mask to get through it, or else you will go at no rate of speed and just die. Literally, that's what I mean. So hopefully I can get an Aku Aku mask. Also, also that is the fucking wizards and lizards dragon from Crash Craft Vortex of all games. I sound just like, I know I sound like literally the biggest nerd right now, but that's just because I am. Well, I nailed those two of that bomb. They aren't coming back. Oh, I thought I got hit by the, I got I got hit by a little loop. I don't get why Polar is a sadistic. Being written by Crash wasn't the absolute- Oh, hi, Cora. Fuck off. Oh, I got a- I did get a mini boost off of that. I kept trying when I did this race just a little bit ago online, but... Oh, I hit a wall. Fuck, it's not yours. Eat. Well, I got someone with it. God, the green beakers are useless. <laughs> oh, I missed my chance to do a boost, so well. Is that actually gonna lose this? 
shielding, but I'm not getting... I'm not really getting great power-ups. Also just having the power-up stolen from me. I think I just need the brace better. Well, here's the boost canister that I needed before I went around this. I was afraid I was going so fast I end up I would end up hitting the mine card. That felt risky, but if you power slide your way through the um, that pile of coal there, you will get through it faster than just going for than just going around. It's some things you it's some things you learn. Uh by watching the entropy ghosts is uh, certain shortcuts and different ways to get to cut time off your um, best laps or make your best laps faster as an increaser overall time because uh, what uh, he does that in ruse tubes where there's normally a path where you can get where you'll get slowed down if you don't have a, have a mask or something like that but you can get through most obstacles like that by just doing the turbo slides also, you do your role, Cortex. As Cortex continues to cry. Congratulations! You win a trophy. Now we have the Cortex wheels. Now let's go. Now let's go the Polar Pass. I think one of the coolest things about the Overworld track is that the dynamic of it keeps changing depending on which area you go through. Like you'll hear the insanity beach sound and then it'll just change going into into the Lost Ruins or Glacier Park or Gemstone Valley. Well, actually you can't go to Ensan you can't go to Lost Ruins from Insanity Beach. You have to go for the Gemstone Valley first. But you know what I mean. I hope because I'm never good at explaining things, but hey, I'm still good at racing. That ice looks ready to crack, but it won't. Look at all those polar bears. They do not have happy to see me. Don't be nervous, polar. Oh! Oh no, the bear's just scared. He's scared. He's such a scary bear. Oh no. Aha! <laughs> Nitro's great! Alright, there's a... Shortcut. Well, maybe with this I can... Oh, it hit a wall, thank god! I was... I was ready to fight it there. There we go. Alright, now, there's a really mad shortcut I'm going to attempt to do here. And I don't think I accomplished it. And in fact, I will guarantee I didn't. But I've seen people who are way better at this game than I am do, like, really mad tricks here and spin pull back. In fact, I'll bet the Anoxide goes to the stage does it too. Yeah, I am so far ahead of everyone else. It's not even close. Ah. I think that was my nitrous crate. I just ran it. Well, no, because if it was mine, I don't think I would have lost one. I did 
absolutely tried to bomb that walrus and it did not work. Because it wasn't a walrus, it was a seal! Oops. Oh, stupid walrus. I, I just said that it was a seal. And I called it a walrus again. I don't go outside, I don't know what animals are. Don't blame me for that. Ah, oh, good. Well, I can't lose now. Hot dog. Lose everything. Look at that. Oh, stupid seal! Ruining my moment of glory! I'll tell you what, those seals are fucking bastards. But look at the clap, he's so happy! Polar is such a good boy. I got 60 for. I think time plays a relative factor in how many coins you get. I want to say that's the case, but I honestly just don't understand them at all. I'm gonna change characters and I'm gonna do Tiny Moon next. Thinking about. I'm thinking about picking up a Rue, honestly, because I think I need to get turning there to Rack Horse. You win a trophy. Now we got Team Cortex Red. I will apply to this. Look at how neon -y it is. Tiny arena, we can have we can have this hot rod for ourselves. I think it's specifically Tiny's car from that game. Definitely don't remember the others having one that looked like that. Um. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Ripper Roo. We're gonna go Green Ripper Roo because it totally flashes my car. I'm just gonna uh, back our way into Tiny Arena because I can. Except I missed, so we're just gonna drive forward into it, I guess. Feel like changing the look of your turbo gauge? Press triangle to switch between three different options while racing. Uh, the one I'm using right now is the nitro fueled version, which uh, gives you the best timing for when to do the uh, turbo boost from power slides. I like it. It's a nice feature. It helps if you could if you like pay attention to, to the game, like trying to learn the mechanics. It's a great way for new players to get into it. I also love the way this place looks now. That statue looks fucking badass. And Rockstar Tiny Tiger! That's not a skin for him, though! Why isn't it? I'd buy that for a dollar! Something I haven't pointed out is the Nitro Tires. Because your tires will also glow orange when you're ready to hit that perfect, perfect boost on the power slide. But if you don't like it, there's an option to turn it off. <laughs> yeah. I think I feel is nuts about proper turning abilities. There's like ads, there's ads for like so many tracks in this 
game. Yeah. And I believe... No, that is as long as for Mumble Whip. Oh man, nobody likes Mumble Whip. I love this game. I normally don't include like remakes or remasters of games when I consider top 10s for lift hits, but I'm gonna say screw it. I'd be ultra biased for this game and include it. I'm gonna list off my favorite games that I've played for the first time this year. feels way different than CCR. It plays just about the same, it has the same handling of controls. In which case the control is like fucking butter. Oh my god! Did I block the spawn of that bounce crate with my TNT? That's awesome. I'm a dick. Makes sense the tiny few seconds of that arena. Although, if you stop it, it could be the wall or something. Well, something was coming my way. I have no idea what it was, but... I do like how I'm getting nothing but nitrous and see how I'm to just a rip a -roo. Like, this is not fitting at all. That was sarcasm. I hit my own bloody TNZ crate. I don't know what possessed me to just drive straight into it. All I know is that I did it. I guess the, like 20 seconds of difference I have against the next closest racer did something. To, did something to influence that decision. <laughs> There is, there is no way in hell the next person is anywhere near close to me. It's got to be by at least 20 seconds. The close, it's 14, 15. Damn. At 80. Because this track is massive. At least they all would have finished within the new online system's 30 second limit to finish races when someone wins first place. I'm glad they upped that from 20 to 30 because you would just like constantly DNF if like, like you were up against someone that really knew what they were doing. You would have no chance of actually finishing the race. <laughs> Ripper Roo is so springy. And Kara looks so sad. Aww. And they're, they're all sad and disappointed they lost to Kara, though. That's such a weak meow, too. It's a chicken! So, you've beaten all the other racers on these tracks. Well, now you'll see why I'm the most feared driver on this circuit. I'll earn the right to this outside by crushing you into break dust. Let's race. All right, Komodo, where are you at? First, gotta check out my ride real quick. Cause, good God, I want this badass mobile, Ama. 
in my, in my uh, garage or whatever I guess they call it. Where's the den? Oh, it's, it's on the back here. Card sets? Oh no, it's just like, uh, it's just a classic. It's just a retro set. You can't just make your own. I mean, they have no actual impact on gameplay. I'm gonna go as, I'm gonna go as like Kitty Pura. Cause she was so sad. She, forget Pura's a boy. Pura's so sad that after they lost, I'll give them a chance to make up for it here in Dragon Mines. As Komodo Mo, no, this is Joe. Komodo Joe kicks my ass. Because he uses the same power-up scheme as Rue did, but he just fires them straight up into the air to have them explode as they crash into the ground. Okay! Bullshit! None of us have picked up an item box yet, and you're just automatically throwing the NZ great at me, Mo. Joe. Keep calling him Mo because that's his brother's name. Good to know that. Good to know that that part of the stage is a pitch for him, too. <laughs> But like that is ultra cheating. You just automatically just start throwing things at me. No, you get one. He missed. It, it missed him. Got him. I nailed him with nailed him with the TNT train of my own. Problem is going up at uh, Oh. I was concerned. I was heavily concerned about I was heavily concerned about the uh what do you know? The minecart. Okay, I'm gonna try to go up this now. I lost because I did. I lost because I took the shortcut. And then I got flattened again. Wow. It was about half a second, too. I, I legitimately. So I legitimately would have been fine there if I didn't try to take that shortcut. But I got the trophy for it, so it was all worth it. It was not worth it. Oh, God. I know Matt had, like... So Matt actually... My friend Matt. You know him. He's been in videos with me before. We did that FE7 thing together with Merc and Arrow, too. He sent a screenshot to me on our Discord server where he actually lost to Joe, but it was due to a tie. He got the exact same tie, but it gave it to Joe. I don't think draws favor the AI. I think it's just legitimately... He, he technically crossed the line first. I think. I don't know. I think Joe is a mix, sort of like Coco or Engine. So they have really good acceleration, but average speed and slightly below average turning. It's 
It's either that or Pinstripe that has that stat layout. I thought this one was mine! Is that Repinch of the other layout or Joe? Joe might just be at the break. I tried my hardest to break there and I just like, no, I guess, I guess I'll just let you crush me instead. You got through that way faster though. Anyway, we beat him. You're not so slow after all. Surprised me you did. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here's a key for the win. Still, I think you're not fast enough to outrace Oxide. We're going to lose our planet, and it'll be all your fault. Jeez, ye of little faith. I like how I'm finally struggling now, though. It's good, I didn't want this to be a cakewalk. If I wanted that, I'd just play it on easy and just, like, curb stomp the AI the entire time, but that wouldn't be fun. Gotta, gotta be a little bit of suspense, a little bit of drama. Kinda like that cutscene. Except Joe's is a drama queen. Hey, though, now we can finally go into Citadel City. That didn't look imposing at all. That Komodo Joe and his mustard brand paint job. All right, let's check out Joe's stats. Okay, so he is balanced like Crasher Cortex. Is that a Sultan Joe skin? The purple Joe for getting the blue gem. Oh, it's Komodo Khan. Oh, hell yeah. Damn it, I need that right now. Fuck, the desire sensor is huge. That looks awesome. Yeah. Well, let's go into the city. Wow, this place looks a lot darker than it did in the past. So next time on Let's Play Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, we'll do all the Citadel City tracks. I'll see you all then. Goodbye, everybody.